let's have a look at the graphical user interface of the software I will start this with the no part interface so as we discussed this is our no part interface window now to access any of the environment uh, from this we will go for top left corner start menu of the software and you can see over here infrastructure mechanical design shape analysis and simulation ACE AEC plant sorry machining digital mockup these are the categories and in those categories there are environments available like product structure material library catalog editor similarly in me mechanical design we have part design assembly design sketcher weld design drafting these uh, environments are available like in machining lathe machining prismatic machining surface machining advanced machining nc manufacturing review stl rapid prototyping these are the modules or these are the environments we have for now i will access any of the environment say we'll go for me start mechanical design part design environment just for understanding about graphical user interface so as soon as i'll click on this start mechanical design part design it will show me this new part window this new part window is actually asking me to enter the name of the part whatever the part i want to create whatever the model name is or whatever the assembly name is i will have to enter over here so that it will generate the complete structure for this particular part name and it will also give our part a uh, uniqueness in the memory of the software i'll continue with part one there are options available to enable hybrid design to create a geometrical set also to create an ordered geometrical set for now i will keep all these things as off because these are not uh, usable right now whenever these things will be in use uh, we will be discussing these things in detail so for now i will uncheck all three enable hybrid design i will uncheck it geometrical set as well as ordered geometrical set i will keep it as off then there is an option available for do not show this dialog box at startup if you don't want this new part uh, dialog box to be shown next time uh, whenever you open any of the environment then you can check this and uh, next time whenever you will open any of the interface it will directly take you to the interface it will not ask you for the part name it will not ask you for these settings if you want to change this setting later on then you can do that as well that which we will be discussing in the initial setting again for now i have given the name i'll just press ok to this and uh, it will take me to the part design interface this is your part design interface will look like now in the part design interface on the top left corner again we have a feature tree history tree or model tree is available in which the part name is given part one which i had defined then we have three planes available xy plane yz plane zx plane you can see these are highlighted over here and then part body is there which will actually store your steps which you will be performing as we discussed that we will be performing feature based modeling so whatever the features i will be using step by steps this part body will actually store those features in sequential manner so that later on if required i can modify i can delete as well as i can arrange them as per my own convenience then we have these three planes available now you can see the size of these planes are too small as per the screen or window we have so we also have settings available to change the size of these planes or the axis system which again i will be covering in the initial settings then we have the compass on top right corner which is actually indicating the x axis y axis z axis also it is indicating the x y y z and z x plane as well 
and you can see I will also be able to rotate by these axes you can see like this next we have the toolbars available you can see there are tools along with the toolbars available there are some toolbars on the bottom area some toolbars on the uh, right hand side these are floating toolbars the software actually gives you interface of floating toolbars and in those toolbars there are tools available whenever user want he or she can arrange these toolbars as, as per his or her own convenience you don't need to go for a specific area and select a particular tool like in the some of some of the software there are some tools available on the top side there are some of the tools available on the left hand side no it is not like this in this software we can arrange these toolbars as per our own convenience say some of the tools which are most required for me i will arrange them in the top area some of the toolbars which are uh, less use which has less use for me i can arrange them somewhere else i can if you want the part name to be changed let's say you have entered the environment directly or you have given the name but by mistake there was some wrong name is given then we can change the part name here as well i will simply right click on this and i'll go for properties in the properties tab this dialog box i can you can see the mass properties of the part as of now i have not created anything in the part so it is showing zero in the graphics if you want to go for the colors if you want to go for the transparency as well you can do this and in the product i can change the name of part over here let's say i want to give the name as 123456 i will give it and i will say okay so name of the part will change if i'll double click on the part name it will expand its tree if i'll double click on that it will compress it there are many toolbars in every environment some of the toolbars are visible some of the toolbars are not visible if i want to show any of the toolbar then in the bottom pin or in the right hand side i can right click and i will be able to see the list of the toolbars for the environment now from this list i can select any of the toolbar and uh, i will be able to see that tool toolbar you can see this analysis toolbar has been ticked it means this particular toolbar has been sh shown in the in interface area but insert toolbar is not ticked it means this toolbar is not available if i want this particular toolbar to be shown then i can click on this and the toolbar will be available for me so this is what your toolbars this is your interface area you can use and uh, you will be working on during the course